we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Can you believe this? Here we are in mid-February bringing you another brand new edition of Recap Wednesday. We only had one show on the books last weekend, but it was a good one if you're a bikini fan. So let's jump right into it. And just as we predicted on Friday's show, it was business as usual for Ashley Kaltwasser as she collected her first win of the season without even breaking a sweat. Second place finisher Lauren Dannenmiller put together one of the best looks we've seen from her so far, which turned out to be a blessing in disguise because third place finisher Ariel Barley also came out of the gate strong. Look for her later this year. We saw another familiar face in Vinaya Augusti slide into fourth. And rounding out a pretty strong top five group, we have Marissa Rivera. As we all know, the Arnold Classic is only a few weeks away now. And today's update comes to you courtesy of Mohamed Shaban, who announced on Monday that he was officially pulling out of the show. On an Instagram post, Mo released a copy of an MRI result that detailed some of the issues he's been having with his back for the last few months. And after consulting with his doctors, they ultimately decided that proceeding with the necessary steps in the recovery process was the right decision. I'm sure the decision was a very big disappointment given everything that he sacrificed over the last few months to get to this point. But as we've said so many times before, everything happens for a reason. So hopefully once he's all healed and ready to go, we'll see him back at 100% on an Auto Classic stage sometime next year. Unfortunately, at this point, we're still a few weeks away from seeing our first 212 event of the year. But if you look at the bright side of things, it does look like we're getting closer and closer to seeing Eduardo Correa make a big return to bodybuilding. Over the last few weeks, Eduardo's team has released a handful of clips of the former Olympia runner-up. And based on what we've seen, it does look like that he's slowly starting to get his groove back. Once upon a time, we knew Eduardo to be a perennial title contender and one of the most dangerous athletes in the division. Obviously, being sidelined with injuries for the better part of the last two years has put the brakes on that to a certain extent, especially as we've seen the evolution of the 212 class into what it is now. But if he could even be 95% of what he was and show up with the next level conditioning that has been his calling card throughout his entire career, then who knows? He still might have enough gas in the tank to make another run at a top five and potentially make his presence felt. And finally, we're closing out the show today by wishing a melancholy trail to Tom Prince, who passed away suddenly on February 5th at the age of 52. Bodybuilding fans of a certain generation will remember Tom as one of the greatest NPC national champs of his era. And the look he brought to the stage at the 97 Nationals was so incredible that he became an immediate fan favorite. Unfortunately, Tom's career was cut short due to kidney issues that were caused by a genetic condition. But the one iconic performance he gave back at the 2001 Night of Champions still stands out in a lot of people's minds as a reminder of how high his ceiling was. I want to take this time to send my deepest condolences out to Tom's family and friends and to celebrate his life and mourn his loss during this difficult time. <laughs> 